the days of having one strategy or one plan are over. It's dead. It's finished. In this changing world, we need to have a strategy for unexpected things too. A strategy for this, a strategy for that. We need to be thinking about uh, the, uh, what, what we would do if scenario planning is very, very important. You know, a news story can destroy a whole organization in just one day. Let me say this. You are incredibly successful. I am just stunned. I am flabbergasted, amazed, excited, awestruck by the speed of growth, the depth of commitment, uh, the breadth and, uh, uh, and scope on, uh, of, of your organization. To have, you know, every time I blink, your membership has gone up by another 3,000 people. What are you now? 35 million United States citizens? You know, quite soon you'll be at 45 million membership. There's no doubt about that. It's only, the only doubt we can have is how long it will take you to get there. Unless something goes wrong, and this is what could go wrong. Go back to that slide again. This is what could go wrong. You see, a new story, one new story, can destroy an organization in a day. But if you can stay on the right side of ethics, if you can stay on the right side of politicians in general, if you can... Uh, huh. <laughs> and my friends, you're entering dangerous ground. You're about to reach a point where you will be able to say that you represent not just the majority of people over the age of 50 years across America, but the majority of all those in every decade over the age of 50. So you say, we represent 51% of all over 50 year olds, 50 to 60 year olds. We represent 65% of 65 to 75 year olds. We represent 85% of 85 to 95 year olds. And we represent 100% of all those over the age of 120. I'll come back to that in a minute. Now, <laughs> who constitute most of our board and all the executive team. <clears throat> You shouldn't be laughing. You're <laughs> supposed to be celebrating this, an aging society. Okay. But uh, the point is this, that things can happen very quickly. And you're going to make some enemies. You've already made a few. With every success, with every bit of growth, there's going to come some people who don't like what you are and are scared. Congress is already scared about you. They must be. I know that. I don't need to be very intelligent to work that out. <laughs> to have a group that's growing this fast, that represents the group that controls most of the wealth in America, that can speak on behalf of the majority of it, on issues which are the most sensitive in our nation at the moment, in your nation and in mine, a group that could swing an election, if you so chose, that could probably push a marginal vote by 3%. Easy. And all you've got to do is say, ask every member to ask every candidate just their answers to five questions and their voting record on those issues. You have power. You have power to make a break, a Hertz or an Avis, a Bank of America or a Citibank arrangement across the whole of America. It's breathtaking, awesome, mind-blowing, exciting, dynamic. That's why you're growing. It's because you have that power. You have that ability to negotiate 25% discounts on a range of services or whatever you do, whatever the percentage is, for millions and millions of Americans. Breathtaking. And so people will want to knock you down and they will look for your ethics, they will look to challenge they will look for a backhander. They'll look for any old story they can find. And of course, in every large organization, the larger you are, the more stories they will find. So let's be ready for them. They will find some stories because some people make mistakes. Not everybody's honest. But things can change quickly.